Alright, what's up, guys? Coin here, back again with another video up on the channel, and today we're gonna be reusing the LFZ duo, who of course did just get their plot equipped, and I'm not gonna lie, from their initial showcase, they did okay, I will be honest. They didn't do too bad, but they also didn't do too amazing, so I thought might as well reuse them on a slightly different team setup that actually worked pretty damn effectively when they initially came out, and just see how it does in the current meta, which of course does involve using GT17, who does happen to be a very good blast-based support character that does give key and damage support, of course, on swap out, as well as also, most importantly, a card on swap out, which will allow, of course, the Z-Duo, once they swap in from 17, to get an extra card to keep the combo going, which therefore does allow them to build up their tag switch gauge, which therefore, of course, allows them to build up their unique gauge, then for get their preparation mode ready, and then fire off the transcendent comment on and just obliterate the enemy team, basically. So, this team hopefully should be a little bit more effective for them compared to the team I ran them on beforehand. Rev UI is still on the team, uh, just because I do want a god key character to run this equip, because this equip is pretty damn effective for them for the pure blast and the base blast attack and all that, and of course the other equips, we have the Awaken Range type plot equip right there, and of course their own plot equip, which is, of course, a nice little god rank right there, which will look pretty nice, so hopefully they do well in this video, and uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel on the road to 10k, and uh, without further ado, top the matches and see what Z Duo can do this time around in the current meta. Alright, first match of the video up against good old Future. So, of course, preferably with this team, we do want to start off at 17 just to try and get the support ramped up as quick as possible. So, we shall be doing that. Alright, so they let off a Trunks. But are they going to do the bait switch into the UV, UVB? Maybe? They did. Great. Oh, I was able to actually dodge off side stuff. Thank God. Okay. We got very blessed right there because uh, a lot of times I do happen to get caught by that. Just saying. So, we've gotten lucky. Uh, unfortunately, obviously, Rosé does lower card draw speed, so I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to get another card. Okay, never mind, I will be able to attack switch into the Vita. I don't know if it's going to be the best move. I mean, I I'm going to do it just to build up the gauge, because like that's the whole point. <laughs> that's the whole point of using them right now, just the whole point of this team, basically. Let's just actually make that a possibility by actually tag switching, basically. Nice! So I actually just pop the main. No, I'm not going to pop the main. It's not worth it whatsoever. Alright, this, though, 17 will be the most effective of Vegeta, because obviously Vegeta will now just guarantee draw... Uh, an extra card. It's still not really going to be enough for him to, uh, you know, be able to combo long enough to get the gauge built up and all that, but it helps. Like, any extra help that this unit can get goes a long way. Okay, they're going to dodge that. They didn't dodge that. Okay. Actually, this might do some decent damage. Also, that's another issue with them as well. That completely forgot. They don't know if I endurance. If they, I mean, that blue card wouldn't have done enough damage anyways, but still, like, if it, if it did, let's say theoretically it did, they wouldn't have even killed Trunks, because Trunks, like, has endurance, obviously. Oh, uh, that's great. Okay, I'm not dead, thank god, but, uh, nope, you're not catching me whatsoever. Please tell me you sides up. Please, 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 thank you. That was too late, actually, all right. Let me see if I can win that. I should win that. Thank you very much, all right. Um, do I lock him in now? I don't know if I lock him in now, to be honest. Actually, no, I do. I definitely lock him in now. We easily kill, all right. I know I want the Z, I want the Z Duo to do the thing, but at the same time, 17 is just doing his thing. We got Rose out of the way, so now Z Duo is overall a lot more safer, so... I'll gladly take that. I will dodge after this. No, okay. You didn't do another card like I thought you were going to. There's the extra card. Pop main now. Uh, tap. There we go. Okay, all right. Let's do our thing. Nice, all right. Let's just bring in Z-Duo, because again, it is our showcase. Now we can bring in Goku. We draw two extra cards, and they forfeit. That forfeit screen, the for I'm sorry, the forfeit screens look so weird now. <laughs> it almost feels like the game just breaks, <laughs> but I'm not used to it whatsoever. I mean, they were doing all right there, so already off to a good start. All right, second match up against a good old movie team, Janemba on a blast-based movie team, but watch us still get cooked by him. Of course, they did start off with Janemba, so luckily our team is blast-based, but then again, that doesn't make things automatically, you know, easy versus Janemba, because he does happen to have blast armor, unless he tackles. No, you're, I didn't tap quick enough, great. We're already off to a fantastic start. Yeah, 17 is taking a lot of damage. Just by adding 17 in the team, obviously, it doesn't make, uh, much of a major difference, you know, defensive-wise. I probably should have swapped in a Z-Duo, but I didn't know you were going to do a Blast. Okay, maybe I should have guessed you were going to do a Blast, because the team is, like, way more Blast-based than Strike-based, because... Pike on and Gammas. Don't know why you're running Janemba on that setup. Okay, I'm almost dead. I'm dead. Great. All right, well, Rev UI, man. Rev UI, yeah. He's also not the most perfect, but who else am I really going to put on this team? Because I... Yeah, I don't know who else. Actually, you have no Vanish, by the way. I can only just throw this. Oh, of course. Oh, you did get hit by that. That did really good damage. Oh my god. <laughs> that genuinely did, like, amazing damage. All right, what are we doing here? Popping this. There's Janemba. I'm going to single tap. Ooh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, let me just dodge that easily real quick. Don't mind me. Gonna blast. 
Nice. Okay, we do have cover and all, so I can just keep this combo going. Oh, Shenandos is dead. All right, we, we got the main throw out of the way. Thank God. Uh, we'll do this. Oh, do not have a blue card. Do not have a blue card somehow. Okay, yeah, I will tackle. Dodge. There we go. Okay. Can I finally get something going? I will swap in a 17. Might as well. Swap in 17 and then screw it. Swap in Z-Duo. <laughs> Might as well. Oh, that works. That works. That works big time. Okay. Doesn't matter if you lower my card draw speed. I'm just going to be upping my card draw speed as I combo. Why do I have to... Great. Okay, we didn't kill. Yeah, we didn't kill because why have to get a green card? Are you kidding me? I still can't attack switch, by the way. I'm going to blast up. Okay, somehow you did not expect that. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Vegeta, come in. Be useful for once. Thank you. 17. Oh, okay. Yes, she did just go immediately. Fair play. All right, that's fine. Uh, if they have a rising rush, I mean, obviously, I shall just sacrifice Rev UI because I'm not sacrificing 17. Hell no. 17 is just way too valuable at this point for me. Thank you very much. Side set. Thank you. All right, you're just dead, right? Not dead. Never mind. Now you're dead. Thank God. All right. That's payback for causing my Rev UI to revive like almost instantaneously. Now we fight against Gogeta, who uh, is definitely a bit tougher for sure. Oh, not in that sense. I don't know what that play was. All right, this is a good test. Let's see if Vegeta can finally do a long enough combo to actually get out and swap back into Goku. Uh, unfortunately, the answer is no, but, and again, Rising Rush is still a play we can do. So you know what? I don't care. I'm rushing right now. There we are. All right. I mean, you can see you can see what I mean. Like, obviously, the extra card that 17 does give is useful. Because otherwise, Vegeta would have done, like, a pathetic combo right there. I mean, okay, I mean, cool. This is kind of, like, what I wanted. Not really. I'm just going to cover change. I'm not going to play around. Uh, watch. Uh, can we get the LF? No, actually, I just drew too many cards. I just drew too many cards with uh, Rev UI, actually, to the point I couldn't even draw the blue card. Don't know if I'm going to win that. Oh, my God. I actually just lost that I won. All right, fair enough. I'm going to let you combo him for a while. And then depending on how things play out, I might swap in 17. Okay, maybe I might be swapping 17 now. Do I still destroy Dragon Balls in 17? Do I? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Seek and Rush. Uh, it's fine, whatever. At, at this point, he's so low in HP that I don't really need 17, to be honest. I will, I will pick the blue card. Let's see if they actually picked the blue card. Okay, they didn't. They might have the second one, though. You never know. There's been multiple times, actually, that... That play, plays like this have been made where they actually have two blue cards and actually pick it. They had a green card, never mind. Okay, it's fine, whatever. Hey, we technically have the Z duo who do have type advantage. Granted, as long as I keep Vegeta in, which I I probably will, to be honest, just for the rest of the fight. I will just tackle. Yep, there we go. All right, I guess we're just going to finish off the fight with Rev UI. Oh, uh, let's get his LF, might as well. Hey, Z duo, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if uh, so far we're obviously not making really any good progress to. Uh, to get their uh, transcendent mode and all that. Again, that's the issue with the unit. It's like once you swap in Vegeta, you're fighting for your life, literally. Like you, it's so, it's so much, so much more difficult to get out of Vegeta than it is to get out of Goku. And that's the main issue with the unit, or one of the main issues at least. All right, next matchup against whatever this team is. I'm just gonna call it Saiyans with Yajiro. It'll be simple as that. Let's go. All right, who do they start off with? Goku and Freeze. I feel like any team with Goku and Freeze, they just always start off with them. Like, is that always the case? Like, let me know in the comments. Like, if you guys fight the, like Goku and Freeze. Is it always the same case for you as well, or like every now and then you find someone that swapped or starts out with a different character? Because for me, it feels like they always start off with Goku and Freeze. Alright, I could have done the extra card. Yeah, I could have done the extra card, but it's fine, I didn't know. I had no idea. Uh, my key is lowered a little bit, so that's fine, I'm gonna do that. You just went straight for it. You know what? I have to commend it, honestly, genuinely. Alright, now you got the green card and have cover null and all that. And also, keep in mind, actually, because there's a load of Legends limited units here, so... I just remembered. Uh, keep in mind that Legends did do the update where now Legends Limited units have like their own like Legends Limited ability or whatever, kind of like an Ultra ability basically, where essentially all they're doing is uh, the more LF units you have uh, in the battle, uh, they're technically giving more support for your team. So like, I think in total on this team uh, specifically, I'm getting 12% extra uh, base stats for my team uh, across the board, which obviously can come in clutch for sure. By the way, 17 coming in clutch with the extra cards right there, as you saw right there. I uh, don't know if I should be scared for Goku and Frieza to come in. I will actually drop combo. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that works out. All right, there we go. But yeah, keep in mind, we are getting like slightly supported by, uh, you know, by the Legends of like, like ability or whatever it is called. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to dodge real quick. Thank you very much. Uh, go immediately. There we go. Okay, now we're cooking. Uh, I can just very easily pop my main ability. Oh, actually, I don't even need my main ability because you are just dead right there. Uh, I think I'm good, actually. I'm going to go immediately. Nice. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to pop this and then kill you off right there. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pop my main. Might as well. Uh, size up, maybe? 
Nice! Alright, well, again, we're not gonna get the, uh, the transcendent mode whatsoever here, unfortunately, yeah. I mean, it also doesn't help these matches are kind of going quite quick to the point I'm not even able to, uh, get a combo long enough and have enough time to comfortably heal and tag switch and all that. But, at the very least, hey, the unit is showing off. They're doing a lot better on this team than they were doing the team before, so the team definitely works, you can see. Alright, next one up against good old Mono Purple. Now, this is a match where a Rev UI, unfortunately, won't be as effective, but... Unfortunately, I didn't really come up with a, a backup plan in this case, so let's see how this goes. Z-Duo will need to uh, carry big time in this one, so oh my god, that's already really bad for us. I could have actually cover changed there. Please do a strike, thank god. Alright, you know what, Rev UI already having some use, I guess, saving our ass right there. Uh, perfect Vanish, maybe. Oh my god, we actually did. We actually did get Perfect Vanish, or we did get a Perfect Vanish right there. Alright, now we comfortably bring in them, have Cover Null, so you can't cover change me. Uh, by the way, this is the first full power Jira and I've fought against. I still haven't seen like anything of him. I've heard that he's pretty good actually, but I haven't I still haven't seen anything of him personally, so we'll see how actually good he is in this one. Although he is only Zenkai 5, but we'll see. Alright, uh, by the way, Vegeta does draw a card now guaranteed on the tag switch, of course part of their uh plot equip, which definitely does help. Like it is a useful ability for sure, but it, it's just not enough, honestly, because again, we literally got cover change right there. So, like, what is that extra card supposed to do if you still get cover change? Uh, give me an extra card. Not enough key, though. Uh, oh, oh my god, we got blessed. We got blessed. Okay. Give me a good card. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, we get cover null again, by the way. All right. See, now this this match we should hopefully have a very good chance of getting uh, the standby mode uh, built up and all of that and be able to get the chance on the comment. Uh, all right. Jiren should be finished here. Yeah, very easily should be finished. Yeah, there we go. All right. Do I just pop it here? You know what? Yeah, screw it. Let's just pop it now. <laughs> Let's just pop it now. Might as well. I'm finally getting the opportunity to do it. I'm gonna do it. Simple as that. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, I should have popped that. Damn it. I didn't pop it quick enough. All right, well. I mean, I guess we get to see they're tanking. Oh, he destroyed my hand. Oh, no. That does suck. I mean, they can't rise and rush or anything like that, but obviously, uh, they can still do enough damage to potentially kill us. Yeah, Frieza. Okay, if he has a blue card, he's dead. Please do not have a blue. Okay, thank God the combo dropped. All right. We will be uh, getting the Kamehameha uh, at any point now. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see if this kills. There is one defeated battle member, enemy battle member, so technically we are doing more damage with this, so this should kill them, right? Okay, it doesn't kill, but it does, it does good damage. Right? That is actually pretty good damage. I will take that for sure. That's it. Thank you very much. All right, uh, I'm just going to play it safe and just pop the main. UI Goku can come in as, uh, as much as he wants, and uh, yeah, he's just dead simple as that. All right, somehow this has worked out for us. I actually forgot that Rev UI, he can go type neutral. <laughs> Uh, by popping his main ability. I completely forgot about that, by the way. That's it. There we go. Okay, yeah, now we're cooking. All right. I mean, the Z Duo did good. They did a load of AoE damage to the team, so that did come in clutch big time in this one for sure. So finally, we got the uh, the transcending combat on this one. So, I mean, you saw how much, I, I mean, I say it was easier to build up. We did have to still fight for our life. We still have to fight big time with Vegeta, obviously, and he took a lot of damage, but... <laughs> I mean, they work slightly better, right? I don't know. Like, again, the plot equip could have done more, but it, it helps, I guess. Woo! All right, final match of the video up against the best team we fought in the whole video. Yeah, uh, this will be the ultimate test to see if the Z-Duo are really uh, that much better in the setup and with their plot equip. So, oh, let's see how this goes. All right, let's go, Janemba. Let's go. All right, they do have UVB as well. Uh, oh, they just brought Triple Ultra. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic, man. Just what you want to see. Tackle, maybe. No, for Vanish. I'm going to do this. Okay, we at least clash. It's better than nothing. Let me win that, please. Oh my god. That was actually so damn close. All right, we're going to keep the combo going, kind of. All right, actually. Oh my god. Okay, that's really good damage, by the way. That's actually, like, some pretty good blast damage. Like, the Goku side of the character, I think, is actually pretty damn solid. Like, he's actually all right. He can do some good damage. He's quite capable, actually. It's just... The Vegeta side, man. The Vegeta side, I just don't know what they were cooking. Like, they weren't. They weren't cooking. Simple as that. Like, I don't know what they were doing when designing Vegeta. They, he just sucks. He just sucks. In, he just sucks, honestly. He's not even in comparison to the Goku side. He just sucks in general. Like, what were they thinking, honestly? Like, you're fight Again, you're fighting for your life when using Vegeta. It's actually ridiculous. Oh, man. Anyways, all right. Uh, I mean, I, uh, actually, the combo ends right there. Fair enough. That's fine. Oh my god, bro, we're getting blessed right now, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, I'm just gonna pop the main screw it, honestly. And then, uh, do this, you are locked in. 
Then bring in Vegeta. Do not swap. Like, th th this is the issue, bro. This is the issue. I don't know. I don't even know if I should have brought Vegeta in, to be honest. Because, I mean, I can do the blue card. Okay, we'll be able to tag switch out of here. We'll be able to tag switch. Okay, thank God. Okay. Never mind. It was worth bringing Vegeta. I'm, I'm immediately tag switching him right now. There we go. Uh, do that. Dodge. Dodge. Size up. Thank you very much. Okay, we're getting blessed right now, Loki. Uh, drop combo. There we go. Although, I'm going to get hit by that. Yeah, whatever. I get out of the way. I get out of the way. Uh, I'll swap into GT17 and tank that. There we go. Okay, that's fine. And we destroy a Dragon Ball the process. Okay, thank you very much. All right, all right, all right. One mistake. One mistake, kind of. I mean, not even a mistake, to be honest. I just, I literally, I couldn't play around that. Oh, my God. Okay, well, never mind. Two mistakes. Okay, that's, that's the first proper mistake of the video. Of the video? What? No. Of the match. Uh, I have to swap into them. Oh, God. They're not tanky whatsoever, and they're really going to show it here. I mean, this will build up our switch gauge a bit, but... Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot more than I feel like uh, they should take. Just saying. Just saying. I'm going to do this. And then bring in Rev UI. I hate myself, bro. Okay, great. Dodge. Uh, do this. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's just see if I can buy enough time somehow. Uh, I'm gonna have to get hit by that, aren't I? Oh, they actually did swap. Okay, and I, I think I would have actually preferred to get rid of the gauge there, I'm not gonna lie. That's it. Thank you very much. Okay, we're getting blessed right now. Alright, I'm just gonna bring in Goku. Can I get my gauge? I can't switch yet. Great, I'm gonna dodge immediately. That's it. Clash? No, we're just dead. Yeah, we're dead. All right, hey, it's fine. They they did enough. They actually did. They actually did put in quite a bit of work. They were honestly one of the, like the unit that probably did like most the most damage on this team. Honestly, uh, I had a feeling gonna go for something like that. I actually could have just kept them in to be honest. He had a counter. I could have kept Rev UI in. Now that I think about it, because he had revival. But oh well, it's fine. They, I mean, they have to go for a blue card, which probably is enough to kill to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's enough to. Ooh, dodge! <sighs> Damn it. Bro, this sucks, man. This sucks. This just sucks, man. What the hell? Yeah, oh, no. Uh, where's my taps? Everything's just falling apart. Literally just because of one or two mistakes, everything's falling apart now. Are you kidding me? I literally tapped the screen. I tapped the screen and it just did, he did nothing. He did nothing. Great. You really need Ultra Instinct to do whatever I tell you to do. What the hell, man? Okay, great. <laughs> Uh, all right, I mean, Rev UI can still do something. I mean, does UVB still have Vanish? Actually, yeah, he does, because he killed 17. There we go, yep. All right, we'll have to deal with that, obviously. Uh, he does still have cards, I think. I'm going to go immediately. I have to win this. Uh, is that good enough, please? Thank God. Okay. We do have cover as well, so obviously we are good. We should be able to finish off the Geo here. Oh, yeah, 100%. With a uh, level 2 card draw speed and everything. I say that, give me a blast, thank god. Okay, I'll pop this, get some extra damage, right? Let's give damage, yeah, it does give damage. Uh, is it enough to actually finish him off, though? Oh, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> it is, thank god I drew that blue card, by the way. Otherwise, I would have been cooked. Uh, tackle, they actually did tackle. I'm gonna dodge right there, yep. Pop main just to get more. I'm gonna continue to just stand back until I get my vanish back, and then pro vanish, that's it. Clash, oh my god, I'm dead. I, just because I went quick enough. Whatever, it's fine, it's fine. The Z Duo did their thing, it, it's fine. We don't need to win every match, it is what it is. But the team definitely performs better, but Artie's still the absolute craziest with their plot equip and even this team setup. Not really, to be honest, they still need more. But unfortunately, they're probably not going to get that much more until their eventual Zenkai, which who knows when that's going to happen. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel and all that, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out, have a great one, y'all.